My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Smire Modded. Alright, we gotta be going in again, yet again, with the Glutton. Elites are deadlier, ooh, that could kill us if we don't get a good early aggressive card. Pick up Bronze Scales, Feed, Shasha Blot, the Whetstone, Avarice, and Toxicity. Okay, I'd like to go Avarice Feed. I tried to dabble in the, uh, the self-debuffing last run and it went okay but really that's not why we won some people would say that we didn't win to which i would counter killing the final boss and not the heart is still a win damn it all right I'll take my simulated not simulated spire sorry the uh the meow's lament there I don't want to go with the HP loss build. Like, look at that annoying hunger right there. Lose 7 HP, deal 6 damage. When played, permanently increase the damage by 2. Upgrades to lose its exhaust. So as long as I have enough healing in my deck, I can support gnawing hunger being my only damage. Ugh, I'll take the max HP there, just because 20 is a lot. Move a strike pretty easily. Okay, so what am I actually looking to do here on the first floor? Because I might want to veer off in this direction, just get two early upgrades, then take a safe line. So if this isn't a fight, then actually I can snipe out that one elite, and then I can take the safe line thereafter. Yeah, we'll do that. Never mind, it's a fight, so I can't snipe an elite. Damn it. Delusion. Great an echo of a non-ethereal card in your hand exhaust. Delusion, to me, is just ridiculously powerful. I'm gonna pass it here. I've done the exhaust build before. I think I'll uh, I think I'll stick. Another gnawing hunger, that's too much. So we just want health and gnawing hunger. I'll also use the power potion in this fight, because this fight can be pretty bad. Whenever you draw a card, deal one damage to a random enemy. Whenever you heal HP, gain an energy, or enfeeblement, whenever you gain a debuff, deal four damage to a random enemy. I'll go with Migram, just because it seems to be the only one that's actually gonna have any effect at all on us. Well, at the very least, that allows us to kill the frontliner here. Not half bad. That said, we will be taking a bunch of damage that we really don't want to be taking here. Oh, yikes. We're going to have a lot of difficulty playing the card that I, like, intend to play constantly. We're going to have a lot of difficulty playing it. So, right, it's at the end of its turn. It takes four damage from Burning Room, so I have to kill it manually. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck, as well as loot, lash out, self-flagellate. I am just looking for HP right now. Please, game. I do want to upgrade Gnawing Hunger as well, so that I actually have, like, repeatable offense in the deck. I'm probably just going to have to rest in a bunch of situations upcoming. Like, anytime I see a scaling card like Gnawing Hunger, I immediately think, well, I need to start with that as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth using. But here it looks like starting with it early might just kill me? Yeah, we die literally as soon as we go into the next combat, so... How can I avoid it? Okay, we'll go here, pick up a heavy jacket. At the start of each combat, gain one play to Dharma for every two relics you have. Not half bad. Don't fight, don't fight. Okay, not a fight. Good. Treasure is really powerful for this character. When drawn, lose one HP, gain two energy. Uh, not about that one. Uh, yikes. I think I just take treasure. It's just absurdly powerful. Then we'll go to this position and rest. Okay, we're still alive. Take a bite so that we can start healing back up during the battles. Uh, I think I do need to dodge that elite. There's no way I'm going to be able to take them out. This ain't going half bad. 
Those two hunger pangs hurt though. So what we've got eight, 13, 13 damage or 12, 16, 16. Okay, 16 is enough to take out this louse here. And then it just sets me up for the gnawing hunger next turn. Oh gosh. Gnawing hunger is so expensive to play. Just HP wise. How much HP would I have to have to use it? I'm taking rest here. Getting too vulnerable, but a bunch of HP as well. I'll actually take a copy of Feed and that'll finish a quest for me as well. Feed getting us some maximum HP is pretty nice. When you lose HP, deal two damage to all enemies. <laughs> Seems like it'd be good. Obtain Tau, oh my God. I love this event. Future relic rewards and combats from non-boss chests give you a choice between two relics. Lovely. We're definitely dead unless we rest here. And if we rest here, we're still almost certainly dead. So I basically just picked up another rest there for more HP. Yeah, but if this enemy doesn't go down on the floor in the next turn, that's us polished. I can't rely on treasure giving me damage there, so just use my own. So we did manage to heal quite significantly there. Treasure gives us fragile might, deal five damage, double for each of the, uh, double the number of hits for each debuff you have. Not really our thing. It feels like I have to play Gnawing Hunger basically every time I draw it. Otherwise, I definitely lose because it's basically the only damage in the deck. But it also feels like I definitely lose if I play it because it's losing 7 HP every single time I play it. You have to play this so many times before it's actually valuable. Like a card that was one, even on this character, a card that's one energy says lose 7 HP, deal 20 damage. I wouldn't play it. So how many times do I have to play Gnawing Hunger before I actually want to use it? Basically the point at which it's starting to single kill targets, that's that's where I think it's worth. It's just getting there seems like it will always kill me. Oh. There has to be something I'm missing. There has to be some facet to the build that I'm just not seeing. We're like in, invariably dead here. I'm just gonna end it on my own terms, gnawing hunger for the kill. But that's okay. I've learned that I can't pick up a gnawing hunger at the very start of the run and just go from there. It's all about learning. Greetings, meow. Remove two cards for losing all gold. I actually do really like that. Yeah. Get two strikes out of the deck, so the deck actually has a reasonable amount of defense compared to strikes now. Rather, defends compared to strikes. Okay. No lethal, but at the very least, we can actually defend. I know. Unheard of. Goodbye, Acid Slime. Hello, Feast. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. For every non-minion enemy killed, raise your max HP by 3. Upgrades to be 12 and 4. I'll take that because I feel like that'll only ever be valuable in the early game. Okay, Land Fruit. Do I want Dream Fruit, Ice Fruit, Blind Fruit, Sun Fruit? Oh, I forgot what they do again. I, I'm going to have to do this a bunch of times until I'll remember perfectly what they actually do. I'll take Sunfruit. And then I think I'll actually skip my first Elite in order to upgrade or lose a strike here. Probably actually need to upgrade that one. Okay. 
Right, I attack there just so that if I do redraw Feast, it will be close to the kill. Great. Now I've got the kill with Feast. Myself a wee bit more max HP. Overreach, Salivate, and Yun. So I go to a shop where I know that I can't buy anything, unfortunately. Uh, just so that I can get to this rest. Oh my god, there was another path, wasn't there? There was. Ah! Damn it. Alright. Land fruit, give me the sun fruit. The sun fruit is whenever you climb a floor, gain 3 HP. Heal 3 HP, rather. I thought the. I thought that was the effect of the. Does my brain tries to work? Give it a second, it'll take a while. I thought that was the effect of the star fruit. Glad to be wrong, I guess. Borborigmi is deal four damage and apply one weak to all enemies. So that reduces the incoming damage, does some AoE damage, but more than that, it has a hundred gold attached to it. And we've got a shop in a couple spaces, so sure. I'm actually not even going to collect that hundred gold right now, just in case I get the Mobius strip or promise list or something like that later on. Those being relics that give you a bonus effect if you... Relics that give you a bonus effect if you complete a quest. There we go. Right. Just use the speed potion there in order to defend for 10. I'd love to use the other defend there, but the upgraded strike really has to be used. I'm about to start losing strength, and this is going to start getting real messy. Probably just going to have to cop this next hit as well. Mm -hmm. This could be a nice setup for a kill using feast, at least. Yeah, nice. Uh, Art of War, if you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn, as well as I'll take a bite just for some healing, I think. Gift Box. Upon pickup, choose and add one rare card to your deck. I'll take the Sapphire Key here. Gift Box is just... It's not choose out of all of them. It's choose out of a set of three. And with how often I turn down... Uh, I really want that banana. There's also Syringe, whenever you heal HP, deal 3 damage from a random enemy. That would be really nice. Oh well. Oh. I wonder if I want to take Guard Stance, Revivification, or the card removal here. Wait, what was I saying before that as well? Oh, there's your Unknown Chances, by the way, as well, so... Unknown is 0% elite, 0% shop right now because I'm just in a shop right now, so you can't have one thereafter. Cool. Ah. I'm saying something, I distracted myself. Damn it. Was it here that I was talking about? Okay, cool. At the very least, I remember that I can get the Borborygmi there. I didn't remember it, I just got it. I kind of want to take Revivification Banana. Not, I don't remember what I was saying. That's okay, though. It happens far too often, admittedly, to me, but still. All right. Revivification so that I can start healing up a little bit more. That backliner is now well set for a sweep. Hey, got the sweep. Beautiful. That also, by the way, when I'm raising my max HP, does trigger revivification, so... It's us in a pretty good position there, at least. I'm working down their health in equal values, so that when one of them is fighting me, I can just turn around, pivot, and kill that target. Gosh, I'm losing a lot of HP. 
Three centuries. Oh, hell yeah. Got myself another relic as well. Decoria, merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices decreased by 20%. As well as Vajra, start each combat with one strength. Not bad. Not half bad. So I do want the upgrade on revivification and banana as soon as possible. Oh, here's hoping out that we get uh, the bottled souls so that we can get the super combo with the banana. Bottled soul being a card no longer exhausts. This is excellent. Yeah, even with your defense, I get to feed this turn. It's a max HP. Uh, I don't know about any of those. If I got a thrombosis, I would take it because it heals you multiple times, so it would trigger the effect of revivification multiple times. It does feel like I'm probably not long for this world right now, though. Come on, if only I got feast this hand. Uh, you, what? Oh, right, I'm vulnerable. I was wondering how it was dealing that much damage. Actually still have a kill though. Explosive potion, deal 10 damage to all enemies as well as thrombosis. Hey, good to see you. Uh, if I don't rest here, I'm extremely dead, like instantly, and I'm pretty certain I'm dead regardless, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Hello, slime boss. It's me, smaller slime boss. Is that slime for us? Just gotta exhaust those while I have the opportunity. Revivification, Borborygmi, and definitely a defend here. Okay, so I need a ultra aggressive hand to feel good about popping the slime boss here. That'll have to do. I can't guarantee that I ever get a better hand than that is the problem. I play all of those this turn in order to trigger the Art of War for the next turn. Great. Got myself a little bit more HP there. Oh, they're still not attacking this turn. Hell yes. Okay, if I need to in a pinch, I can use the Explosive Potion to kill both of the backliners here. Not necessary. I mean, I'll never be weak again if I use it. Sure, I'll do it. And that'll also get me a toy battleship. Whenever you go to a rest site, start the next combat, or rather during the next combat, the first card played each turn also draws one card. The problem is if I double defend here, I'm dead. At the start of the next turn when the eternal hunger triggers. Oh, it can't trigger to kill you. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm still alive then. For some reason. Alright, really would have liked to leave all of them here so that I could just cycle back through to the feast. In fact, I'm actually going to try and do that at the very least feast on this one. Nope, got to the bite though. Looks like we're actually going to leave floor one this episode. I know, it didn't look like we would. Eat alive, deal seven damage, gain max HP to each, uh, for each unblocked damage dealt. We definitely want that. We're trying to just gain a bunch of max HP in this build. Wasn't that what we were trying to do last build as well though? Heavy snack, add two random curses to the bottom of your draw pile at the start of combat. Every time you smith a card, upgrade three more random cards. There's a lot of cards in this deck that really need to be upgraded. I kind of want to take the heavy snack here. 
endoplasm, gain energy at the start of your turn. Each the first time you lose HP each round, lose 50 gold. So that me for me, that is ectoplasm. That will remove all of my gold basically instantly. Uh, then also there is Cursed D8. Gain energy and draw a card at the start of your turn. Shuffle a echo of a random curse into your draw pile at the end of your turn. This is fewer curses. I'm going to go for the heavy snack here. Let's go to the jungle. I'm basically... Ooh, Mushroom Boss. I've never seen that. Uh, I'm basically just going to be looking to get to as many rest sites as I possibly can. Upgrade as many of my cards as I possibly can. Revivification Thrombosis. Lovely. Lovely combo right there. Thrombosis healing me for three turns. Or rather for one for each turn for three turns. I definitely have to weaken here and then probably just double defend fight. As much as I wanted to eat alive this turn, don't really get to. All the cards I just played as well burnt. Come on. Give me lethal soon. So unblocked damage dealt is not going to even trigger on the Eat Alive right now. So May as well not use it. Oh, that's a lot of good damage. Whoa, that's a lot of damage to be taking here. Yike -a Uh, I do not have lethal either. Oh. Ow. Ow. I wasn't even vulnerable that turn. Okay. Probably none of those. Glyphstone upon pickup, transform two random strike or defend cards, then upgrade them. I actually really do like that. We lost the strike and a defend, and instead we picked up a rapacity and a loop. Loop. Loot, rather. Uh, that's actually really good. That's going to give us fewer targets to get hit by the heavy snack that we don't want to have hit by the heavy snack. It's a huge bonus for us. But also, a bunch of money. I do like me a bunch of money. At least we've got the kill on that target. So we've got the Flamengo, which is actually using Flame Barrier right now. So I sh I should hit you with the Borborygmi because that'll prevent a bunch of incoming damage. And then probably with the Bite as well, just to heal up a little bit. It really seems like we're not long for this world. Good Lord. A lot of these fights are as, as tough for us as like elite fights would be. It's also not to say that this deck is particularly well-tuned, literally at all. It's not. Okay. Taking 12 right back there. Alright, there's your flame barrier yet again. So it is turn on, turn off. As in, it has it for a turn and then off for a turn. There's our kill. None of those really help us at all. And yeah, we're definitely dead this fight. While this is in your hand, you cannot play attacks. That is harsh. Oh, we got confused. Only Thrombosis seems to have actually been affected there. If I attack one more time, the Axe Trap swips, uh, swips, swaps to incoming, and then life is over. 
while this is in your hand, you cannot play attacks. And then I can only play it to remove it from my hand and it doesn't even... Oh, no. It doesn't even exhaust when I do that. Yeah, we're just super dead. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So yeah, that, that deck definitely uh, lacked the ability to deal literally any damage whatsoever. Or to defend. It's it's amazing. That is a deck that managed to do nothing. Lose 12 max HP in order to get a random rare. Ooh, Fossilized Helix. Worst combo of all time. Fossilized Helix saves us one damage per combat because it prevents the first trigger of Eternal Hunger, and that's it. I actually remember uh, listening into a conversation or sneakily being party to a conversation uh, in the early days of the Glutton where a discussion was had about how this interaction should occur. I think ultimately it came down on the side of not everything has to necessarily be synergistic. Not every character should be able to benefit from every single different thing. Although I don't want to mischaracterize the actual approach that they had at the time. Let's take the bite. But I have to assume that that was the outcome of the conversation. I just remember seeing the conversation based around... Hmm. How should Fossilized Helix work with Eternal Hunger? I'll use the flail here, happily. And yet again, just guaranteed lethal on that turn. I'll take a Dvar. Gives me the ability to exhaust a card, so now I can start taking exhaust synergies. It really feels like that's kind of one of the strongest things that I can build into right now. I'm just going to go for full offense next turn. As long as I draw the right cards, I'll have lethal. Yeah, that's got it. Whew. Regen potion as well as fragile might. Ooh, this early? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it. Let's try and do the debuff builds. I... I really want to try builds with this character that I haven't done before is the thing. So I don't want to do the exhaust board... Uh, exhaust board? Exhaust board? What is that? I don't want to do the exhaust builds for the 5,000th time. I say 5,000th. It would be like four. Alright. Find me another bite. Oh, yeah. So those are effectively just in the deck at the moment for sustain's sake. We'll upgrade both of them as quickly as we possibly can here. Beautiful. So this Gremlin Knob has more max HP, courtesy of being the Emerald Elite on this floor. So it's really important. Or rather, so I think I'm going to be in this fight for a fairly long period of time. And because I think I'm going to be in this fight for a fairly long period of time, I used the... Oh, I should have burned the Defend there, of course. Sorry, for some reason I thought it was discarding. But I, I think I have time to use the entire regen potion, which it's turned out... Yes, I definitely had time to do. Bottle Yo-Yo. Upon pick up, choose a card. When that card is put into your discard pile, shovel it instead into your draw pile. We'll see what we get from this. Enfeeblement works for the debuff build. I really want to put Fragile Might as the card that Yo-Yo's back into the top of the deck. But I have to do bite. It just doesn't make sense to pin all of my hopes on a build that I haven't yet managed to bring to fruition because I don't have any debuffs in my entire deck yet. Golden Egg. Whenever you add a rare card to your deck, it is upgraded. Whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, it's upgraded. And a merchant immediately thereafter. Come on. Uh, no, that's lose all frail, lose all vulnerable. That's exactly what I don't want. Uh, I kind of am interested in taking Hand of Greed here because a upgraded version of that is just 25 damage for two, which is actually kind of reasonable. But more than that, the 25 gold for killing an enemy is actually super nice. 
and it'll help us buy more cards in later merchants, which will be upgraded because of the golden egg. It all just feeds back in. It's fine. Oh, look at this hand agreed. Popped him. I'll use that attack there just so that I can guarantee that I kill this Fungi Beast next turn. Yeah, because it's going to be doing the extra damage here. Come on. Hell yeah, double bite develop. Perfect hand. Odd Mushroom. When vulnerable, take 25% more damage rather than 50%. That's actually really good because I intend to gain vulnerability. Do I want to do it with rest? I think I do. Oh, no. I'm so well off if I throw away Enfeeblement right now. Yeah, I'm doing it. That healed me for 60-something, then gave me 10 more max HP. It's really difficult to argue that that wasn't the correct move. So now I can just hand of greed each of these characters. Okay. There's a hand of greed left in my deck and I am waiting for it here. Thank you. Yeah, and I should just kill now. Another bite? Oh, it's appealing. It's too appealing, in fact. Again, no debuff cards. There is a debuff relic here, though. Every third time you gain a debuff, gain one strength. Muscle shirt. There's also the gremlin horn and frozen eye from the base game. But... Oh. Two for one in knee jerk as well. I don't want that. Pick up Feast. I don't want to pick up Feast. 30 cards this act. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah. We'll probably just remove a strike then. And I'll even go to the rest so that... Oh, nice. We can get another removal. Another strike out of the deck. I'm just trying to replace those bites with strikes at this point. I really can't afford to use rest in this fight. Seems like a great way to take a bunch of damage. Okay. Burn out another strike as well. I do just have to continue attacking here. I don't have enough defense in my deck to do anything but that, basically. So I'm kind of just relying on my HP from the bites to be worth it. Oh my god, if we get after this boss... Use Flail here just so I can get in some extra damage. Uh, if we get after this boss, Backtick, you can use Backtick in order to take character or rather class-specific relics from other classes. And we'll take the Magic Flower, because that's an Ironclad-specific relic. We'll be in such a great position. Oh, it's going to be biblical. All right. Bite him. Bite him. I'll defend here happily. Yeah, just bite, bite, devour, or strike. Easily. Yeah, we're comfy. Uh, in fact, I can even bite and then hand of greed for the kill. Vitality, whenever you heal HP, gain an energy. Yes! That's extremely this build. And it gets immediately upgraded when we pick it up. Hell yeah. What? That's insane. That's super cool. Uh, Ape's treasure. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Uh, on 
or rather start each combat with drowning on pickup add a copy of abe's revenge to your deck drowning is a debuff that causes hp loss taking unblocked attack damage increases drowning dealing unblocked attack damage lowers it that's a debuff that we would already have in our deck as well as abe's revenge adding the frailty to us that gives some effect to the fragile might but it really feels like this is just an hp gain build at this point uh gain energy at the start of your turn at the start of each combat add two burns into your hand uh deck's relatively thin i don't want to do that bronze core gain energy at the start of each turn each combat includes a bronze orb minion that won't attack but will put cards into stasis until killed it'll put like my like hand of greed but it will take my fragile might I'm gonna take the bronze core and go to the jungle of course but of course i do kind of want to hit as many shops as is possible hello bronze orb i would be keen to use hand of greed here but uh, if i can defend 10 you took one of my bites? How dare you? So rude. That's not a non-minion enemy, by the way, so I'm not going to get anything from that. <clears throat> That's okay, though. Devour that fragile might. Don't really see my jam. Really want like Aura Calcum as this character. That'd be great. That is so much extra energy for us. Vitality is ridiculous. <clears throat> Vitality will bite, bite. Then I guess we bite, strike, then devour. Hell yeah, get three of them down really early. And you took what, a fragile might? Yeah, I couldn't care less. I actually could not care less. It's a minion as well, so... Unfortunately, this enemy is defended, and this enemy has guarded, receives 80% less attack while there is a spider in front of it. So, that's why I chose my targets as I did. I mean, this feels right. Take a feast? Not pre-upgraded, but it does have an event. Not an event, but it has the loot. I don't think we take feast. I think, if anything, we take guard stance here. Yeah, this fight could be bad, though. I've still got my Hand of Greed in the deck. Which means I'm going to need to focus on killing this orb. Oh, you took my Fragile Mind. Beautiful. So these enemies are cautious. After receiving attack damage four times in a turn, they become stunned and they have 27 block each. So there's nothing I can do about them this turn. Gotta remove a couple of targets from the field. And then I get to die to these jungle. I mean, then I accidentally die to these jungle hunters. So we managed to stun one of you. 
think I do just have to work one down first. Maybe we have enough healing in this deck that we can actually recover from this. Hell yes! How did we stun it? After receiving attack- Oh, it's not receiving unblocked attack damage, it's receiving any attack damage! Oh, that changes everything! My bad. Belly slam. Deal damage equal to your HP divided by three. So that's 20 right now. I mean, since we're healing ourselves constantly, it feels like belly slam does only get better. And it's also some money for me. Knowing that I have a shop upcoming and a golden egg, that could be super useful. Five's okay. Yeah, I really shouldn't have made myself frail that turn. Ow. Come on. Uh, no, I'm weakened. Damn it. If I had ordered that turn better, I would have killed that snake plant. That's entirely my bad. I needed to uh, use the strike before I used the... One sec while I figure this out. Oh, cool. I needed to use the strike before I used my other card. It wasn't a strike. It was the flail. There we go. Treasure. It's an immediate pickup in almost every build, basically. Uh, Infinite Flask is actually really good. At uh, at campfires, the rest option may now be taken for free. It consumes your use, starts at three uses, kill bosses to gain two more uses. We do want to rest a lot. So I actually kind of want to take like Magic Flask and Regal Pillow. Unfortunately, I can only afford one. Diary upon pick up, pick the boss of the act. I don't know about that one. If I could have both of these, we would be so far ahead of everything. I think I have to take the Regal Pillow. No, it's Magic Flask. No, but if I take the Regal Pillow, I can also take Treasure. Then just cut another strike from the deck. Okay. Here we go. 50 gold. Got it. Treasure is only good if you have money as well, by the way. Something I just remembered. Now, unfortunately, I can't take down any of the rest of these, which is going to be a real bummer. Should have still just flailed the back line. I don't know why I was only focused on the baby snack here. Okay. Definitely hand of greed to instantly kill one of them. Oh god, this confusion. Yeah, I'm not just going to defend for five this turn. That doesn't seem useful. Or at least not useful enough. All right, Mama Snacker. Let's burn out that defend as well. Body slam for... 
Or rather, Belly Slam for only zero. Nice. Good cost for it. Definitely have to focus all of my damage on the back line here. Not only because we have the kill, but also because if I had to fight anything else, I was definitely going to lose that fight. Uh, every time an enemy attacks you, gain one gold as well as chomp. Hell yeah. Deal, uh, sorry, deal 16 damage. Heal for unblocked damage dealt. Extremely good. Okay. Do I want any of these? I think no. Yeah, I'm going to want to save my money so that I can use the... Oh, by the way, uh, Prussian Blue Paint. You can ask Smith Curses. Smithing a curse removes it from your deck and upgrades a random card in the deck. Heavy Jacket. At the start of each combat, gain one plated armor for every two relics you have. And Toolbox. At the start of each combat, add a random colorless card to your hand just in case you run for mill. Anything here that I desperately need? Because I'm feeling like a strong no on that. I could take that Feast. It'd be immediately upgraded and I'd also gain money back. <laughs> There's Jellyfish. Honestly, not sure what it does. Uh, Tread is the first time you draw a status or curse each combat. Exhaust it, draw one card. And the gremlin food, whenever you rest, upgrade a random card. I'll still pass those. Pen case. You may now use two campfire options as long as neither chosen option is rest. Beautiful. I can smith two cards. Hell yes, get that HP. Uh, oh yeah, we'll enter the passageway. We've encountered this event before, by the way. 5 max HP for 10? Sure, we'll agree. Something about the playful foxes captures a rare part of your imagination. You decide to humor the fox, and before you know it, you find yourself caught up in their various games. Sometime later, you find yourself back at the entrance to the trees, out of breath, but with a renewed vigor for your quest. Oh, I was hoping that that would continue into something else as well. Yo, yo, that's going to suck when they take treasure. That's really not good. How dare. There's an easy kill and take a lash out. That. So we go to another rest site and then upgrade two more cards in the deck. Beautiful. Before I know it, this entire deck will be upgraded. There's another treasure immediately upgrades if I add it to my deck, though. I have to. There's also Glyphstone upon pickup. We've had this before in this episode. We've got two treasures in the deck. That is like a win condition in itself. Unfortunately. Whoa! I haven't even smithed the card yet! And I can no longer rest. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna save and quit. Come back. I selected Smith and then went back to that screen. Alright, there's my rest. Eat Alive is really good here as well, hell yes. And we kill it as well, beautiful. I'm gonna throw a Fire Potion here so that we're not taking any damage yet. What do I want to devour here, if anything? Oh, Fragile Might, obviously. Oh no, there's not even a question there. Right. Wait, what? You're still attacking? I thought you got stunned. Okay, I definitely should have double defended there. That's my bad. Sorry, I was certain the enemy wasn't attacking that turn.
Okay, we'll burn probably rest here, I feel like. Making our way through these cards quite quickly. Let's definitely devour the flail, defend, and then strike, strike. We set up for a really good belly slam. 40 damage for two energy is still pretty good. I don't want to use the chomp. It feels like if this fight suddenly starts getting really annoying, I'm definitely going to want that around. Alright, and looks like the fight isn't going to have that time to get annoying. Whew. All right. Quest of the quest log as well as Retaliation, Excrescence, and Avarice. None of these really fit our builds. They would get upgraded if we added them to our deck, though. Very few cards in the deck. In your deck? Is it in your draw pile or in your deck? Because then this is 21 damage for one energy and it puts a the ability to draw into our deck, and we kind of do need draw. I'm going to take the Ask Christmas here. Uh, Snack away. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Mm, I really wish that I could justify that. Uh, cracked Hourglass. Gain energy at the start of each turn. If, you're, if any battle takes longer than three minutes, you die, as well as chewing gum adds three slime to your draw pile every time you shuffle your deck. Uh, we'll go for the Cracked Hourglass here, and now we really need to be quite quick about things. That said, this is a deck that is relatively aggressive, so it feels like we didn't really have the option to not be quick about things beforehand, so maybe this is much the same. Treasure gives us a bunch of cards, and then we dunk on the enemies. Treasure gives us a bunch of cards, and it gives us an echo for treasure because the previous one. Oh, hell yeah. Get that nostalgia. So yeah, Treasure is very much the late game carry for this deck, let's say that much. Oh my god, that put a lot of god stances in my hand. Gotta remember, nostalgia is a thing, and we're gonna have it relatively commonly. This target's already dead. I wasn't even looking at them because I was like, yeah, they're already dead, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right. I would usually focus more on spreading out the damage here, but I'm just going to get one really close to dead and then work from there. Nostalgia, whenever you create, uh, whenever you exhaust a non-ethereal skill or attack, you create an echo of it. So that's why we're going to have the ability to, like, multiple chomp. Although we can't really afford to multiple chomp. We do have a get to guard stance twice here. Basically for free. And buy it, because I need to use treasure here. And then I've got an echo for treasure, so I can play it again. Not, not. And echo for treasure gives us a bunch more cards. Ooh, look at that eat alive. Hell yes. Should have used the echo of the eat alive. That's my bad. God stance, pre-upgraded. Beautiful. Flash powder, stun an enemy. That is really powerful. I'll take this fight, get my random rare relic. And you know what? I'll even kill you. Uh, I really shouldn't stun. There's a boss on this floor I can use that stun against. That's 
obviously the correct way to use it. Right, I'm trying not to hesitate on too many of these turns, but duh. There's a lot of interacting elements here. Oh my gosh, nostalgia. Okay, so I can now guard stance, guard stance. Beautiful. Rocket Booster. Whenever you defeat an elite, upgrade a random card. We're probably only going to do that a total of once. Uh, pay 50 gold, gain two intangible. We're only going to use that in the final boss fight, and it will save us so much HP. This is extra energy on turn one, almost exclusively. Uh, Upon pick up, choose a card. That card will always retain. Is there any card in my deck that I actually want to retain? Not really. Feels like none of this really suits his bills. Guess delusion, maybe. I'll take that. Gets pre-upgraded. I could also take another bite. Actually, let's just card remove a strike out of here. Okay. Yikes. Uh, definitely lose the max HP there. I don't want to thicken up my deck at all. So now I can smith two cards again. Let's go for Devar and Guard Stance. Go immediately for an elite, and then I can smith more. Yes. Don't take treasure, damn it! Treasure is so important here. Illusion on treasure. Oh, this is perfect. Migrum will just play out all of the cards in his hand, basically with reckless disregard for what they are. Then do it again. Enfeeblement, nostalgia. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so many E lives here. Okay, fast is actually really annoying because it kind of stays in my hand right here, as you can see. Oh, the echo of treasure got lost. Okay, now we've got all of that done. Do I want to fast a bunch? Because I'm definitely going to eat alive like two times in a row here. Only two times? Yeah, I need to do that soon. That's a lot of max HP we just picked up there. 40. 40 counts is a lot as far as I'm concerned. Definitely should have done the defend first there. And got starts again. Hit. We'll devour to remove the flail, and then we can treasure with a completely empty hand. Uh huh. Oh, we gotta have lethal soon, or else we do. Uh, I've got a bunch of debuffs. That fragile might could be good. All right, there we go. Whew. Tin flute at the end of this run. Choose one card in your deck. You start your next run with that card in your deck, as well as another copy of Belly Slam. Belly Slam's only getting better with all of these Eater Lives being added to our deck. Uh, okay. Let's actually upgrade both of these defense. Half-eaten uh, sandwich. At the end of combat, heal 2 HP and raise your max HP by 1. I have to take the Sapphire Key here if I want to go and fight the heart. We'll see about whether or not we want to go and fight the heart, but we'll definitely do it. Okay, so we play Vitality, Vitality, then we Bite, and then we get to play this Vitality. Right. So now anytime we play a card that gives us HP, we gain back three energy. Oh, this is wild. Body slam you twice. Oh, nostalgia. Da, 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 da. Let's 
So yes, you already took my treasure plus. That's really unfortunate for me. I do ideally want that back. Oh, gosh. Please give the card back. It is very important. Hey, there we go. So now I want to run out this hand. Treasure with a bunch of space. I'm looking for any copy of Eat Alive. There we go. We got it. And we got another nostalgia. So now what I get to do... Oh, this is going to be so good. Is Eat Alive... Then eat alive, eat alive. So just throw some cards out of my hand. I'm looking for more eat alive. Okay, we didn't get any more. Cool. So now we can just kill. Hell yeah! Get that max HP. Oh gosh, transient. This is going to be an interesting one. We'll delusion the bite and then just bite a bunch here. Shot. Sure. Uh, just devour that. Definitely not going to be using it. Some hunger pangs in my pile. Sure. More than happy to. It's all okay. Alright, there is the treasure. Been looking for this whole time. Play Megrim, Enfeeblement, and then Starvation Mode. Now we're just looking to deal as much damage as we possibly can. In stark contrast to all of the other times that we've been playing the game, and sought to do as little damage as possible. Oh, that's a bunch of eat alives for us right there. Beautiful. So now we'll strike, strike, just get all of those out of the hand. Eat alive. Eat alive, eat alive. I don't think there's anything left in my deck that I want to draw here. I do only have one more turn that I have to neutralize the enemy for as well. As soon as I've matched that task, yeah, I feel like we're just out of here. Whew. Don't need any of those. Okay. Let's target the spy growth here. No, I shouldn't. That, and then I can treasure for a full hand. Oh, hell yeah. Should have used the Eat Alive earlier there. That's my bad. Obviously, I'll take a chomp though. Oh, God. Oh, no. I chose this whole line before I looked up here. I didn't see that I was just definitely going to be fighting a nightmare. Oh, no. Oh, no! My time has been running out. Uh, okay. We need to focus here, because nightmares are no joke. That is a lot of fatality on turn one! Wowzers. I have so much damn energy. I really, really, really ought to do this. It should just save me the fight, basically, to do that. I'll chomp twice. Then God starts to fend. Can't use the belly slam here, otherwise then I am no longer in this combat. Or rather, I don't have a turn anymore after that point. Now I'll do that. Lovely. 
Do I devour? I don't need to devour Fragile Might. Fragile Might is actually now really powerful for some reason. It's all these debuffs I keep applying to myself. Literally, it is. Alright, we're good. Should be able to kill next turn. Oh god, 70 on the Cracked Hourglass as well. I wonder, intangibility. No, I don't I don't need to I don't need to learn how that interacts right now. That's a later thing. Damn. So of course it is now misplay time because the pressure is on. Uh, short range teleporter, you may skip rooms instead of entering a room two floors away, or rather instead entering a room two floors away. Has two charges, kill bosses or elites to regain charges. Uh, make an echo of the first two non-ethereal, non-power cards you play each turn. Hell yes. Uh, skip an elite? Uh, skip an elite. Skip a fight? Yeah, sure. I obviously have to recall here. Wait. So I had to re I had to I had to upgrade first if I wanted to get the effect out of pen case there. All right. Oh my god, this is both treasures on turn 1. We need to focus. Oh, nostalgia migrum, enfeeblement and starvation mode are easy plays right there. I want all of them played. I'll stun the enemy and prevent them from doing their effects. Like, I think I will prevent them from doing their effect, but yeah, they'll still take over my turn. Or rather, that I can't prevent them from doing their effects. That's a lot of chomps right there. So, yes, first card played each combat, so I get an echo of it. Great. It's just really, really important that I have all of that intangibility here. Bye, time eater. Soon. We have enough money to just pay for intangibility forever, as long as we draw it. Oh my gosh. Belly slam, belly slam. Echo the belly slam again, and now I can't use it. Right, of course, that's my bad. Should have forgot that I don't have an engine to get infinite energy here. Well, damn. Enemies purging this turn, so I'm probably done for now. Don't want to lose this Echo Treasure, so I should just play it here. It's a bunch of cards in my deck that I don't necessarily want in there right now. And never mind, we actually killed the Time Eater before it transforms. And 43 seconds on the clock. So I'll be using the Short Range Teleport in order to leap over the Elite fight here, because I really don't want to fight them. Just seems a bad idea for me. Make an echo of the first two cards you play. Ooh, so now I can do that with power cards as well. Nice. All right, anything in the shop worthwhile? Gains energy at the start of turn. Unblocks after you take 20 unblocked attack damage. That'll break instantly for us. All right, so we'll just fight the shopkeeper here. Should have played the Echo Chamber there. That's my bad. Oh, that actually purged the uh, the Bronze Orb minion. Interesting. Because that fight ended and a new fight started, I'm assuming. But I still have my powers in place, so that can't be the case. Oh, that's a lot of nostalgia. 
Now all I need is good exhaust cards in the deck. A lot of nostalgia. Okay. Ridiculous amount of echo for everything I play. I cannot believe. Oh no, we did get the kill. Woo! Just at the very end there. Uh, nice rug. Start his combo with one plated armor for every 50 gold you have. And then, what? Do I want to take any of those cards? I didn't really. I was going to skip over this fight. Remember when I was going to do that? I immediately forgot. I remember. Well, at the very least, I'm still fully defended for some reason. <clears throat> okay, so it's body slam, body slam, body slam. <laughs> Just seems right, right? Peanut butter at the start of each combat gain eight temporary HP. That's actually really good. It means I'm going to hold on to my fossilized helix for a wee bit longer. Flail now and then treasure before I even obsessive greed, just because it might give me the ability to duplicate the obsessive greed somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Belly slam doing the perfect amount of damage here. Really pleased with it. gained some intangibility, not all of the intangibility. I'm not comfortable with less than all of the intangibility. I only have one vitality out, so I can't just chomp a bunch. I mean, I can chomp once. That's it. I do kind of need to keep that delusion in the deck. It is ridiculously powerful. Okay, 106. Okay, I actually need to speed up this fight. Belly slam twice. I should have bitten there as well. That's my bad. Okay, treasure. Good pickup. Good pickup. You echoed an echo of slime. Cool. Alright. Just throwing out all these attacks. I, I can't afford the time to sit here and count the effects. Yeah, I've only got 60 more seconds. Great. Still going to be taking some damage here, losing some of our plated armor as well as our effect of the crystal stats here. That's a lot of vitality, though. I had to go for it. Okay, we heal up a lot now. Lovely. So we can eat alive. Belly slam. Belly slam. Eat alive. Kick in for the damage. Come on, get that draw. Kick in for the damage. D -d -d come on! Oh, God. Getting down the wire here. Got him. Woo! 19 seconds left on the clock. I did not think that deck was going to do it, but then it did. Uh, my food is getting cold because I thought this episode was going to be over a very long period of time ago. Uh, which of these is actually good? Make an echo of the first two cards you play each turn and it's already upgraded. Of course I have to put that in the tin flute. That's going to make for an interesting next run. Until then, my name is Winter Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we will see you next time.